Greetings and salutations to everyone out there, especially the Tales fans. Now, the plan was for me to make another one of my fake reviews and make people laugh and piss people off. But for some reason, not a lot of my favorite YouTubers even care to talk about what is essentially my favorite JRPG series right now. So I figured, fuck it. I at least want to talk a little bit about the game, so here we go. I'm going to talk about uh, the PC port. Now, as the title of this video states, I am currently playing this game on the PC. And they have options to increase the graphics and for the game to run at 60 FPS, which I greatly appreciate since the combat of the game feels better at 60 FPS. Now, after playing the game for a few hours, I am noticing a lot of screen tearing when rotating the camera around really fast, which really started to mess with my eyes. I thought that I was going crazy, but after fiddling around with the settings for the bit, I was able to fix the problem. Now, this isn't a real review of the game, I just wanted to talk about certain things, like the camera feeling a, feeling a lot better than in the last game, which I'm not sure why, it just feels better. Maybe it's the same shite and I've just grown accustomed to it, I don't know. And moving on, we all know that the Tales series has an anime style, and we all know that graphically, the Tales series looks like shite. And this game is no different. Everything just looks bleh all around. But people who play this series are used to the shitty graphics and like myself play for the enjoyable story. If you're looking for a great looking anime series of games, then I would suggest you go play the Naruto series. Their graphics is probably the best anime inspired game I've ever seen. Also, has anyone ever noticed how the Tales series names their games? How they just always tack the IA at the end of a word, like Tales of Vesperia, Tales of Zillia, Tales of Symphonia, Tales of uh, Besseria, what, what, what I'm playing now. What the hell is up with this style of naming games? And I know occasionally that they come up with something like Tales of Grace, is pre presumably because someone dropped too much acid while they were making the game and they forgot that they wanted to add IA onto it. But. It's not like this is where the only place where this happens. Anyone remember Skies of Arcadia or Grandia? For some reason, the Japanese public seem to have this weird fascination with adding IA to the end of everything to make it sound cool. Anyway, uh, back on topic for the sec. This Tales game stars a female, and for the last few games, you can tell that they've been testing this out, uh, like during the Fantastic Zillia, where they had dual leads where one was a female lead and one was a male lead. I very much love that style because I enjoyed the fighting style of the male lead. And since people like that game, now we have Velvet, the lead character of this game. Which is a great way to do things, to find out if your character base can tolerate a female lead. And yes, I do mean tolerate because there are a lot of games out there that do not sell because either a female is on the cover or some crazy shit like that. It's weird. Some people don't want to play as a female. And they tested this theory out by but giving you the option to choose between a male and a female lead to see whether it bothered people or not in one of the previous games. It didn't seem to bother people, so hence we have a female lead. And this is a very smart way to go about trying to gauge your audience for what they would like to play as. Whew, okay. Now, it's time for me to shut up and go to work. The game is running great on my PC. I am enjoying it. The combat is fun. The only thing I hate is that the finishing moves are of combos is chosen based on the type of enemy you're fighting during the combo which sucks because there are certain combos or certain moves that I would prefer to use and having the game dictate what finishing moves I use based on the type of enemy I'm fighting really pisses me off in some way it, fu it fucks with the combat about it just messes with the flow of the combat that, that's all I'm saying but oh well I'm done I'll see you guys later and there's no need to like this video since it's just me rambling about uh, a random game that I really do enjoy you all have fun, and like next time, well, I'll talk to you soon. Oh, one more thing. I want to make sure I drive this home on every Tales game that I talk about. The Tales series is notorious for giving you the worst fucking outfits ever. And I, I really do believe they do this so that you can buy DLC outfits, you know, just to p make it palatable to your eyes. I'm looking at you, Tales of Graces. But in this game right here... The outfits aren't so bad, which is amazing to me. I'm guessing because it's a female uh, lead and they just wanted to look sexy and all that shite. I'm calling it, 
calling an anime character sexy it feels quite weird. But anyway, they just they got her breasts out for most of the fucking game, so I'm guessing that's why the character can't look bad because they just won't breast everywhere. This is the Japanese we're talking about, and their ideas of modern. Ah, oh, fuck it, I'm going to I'm going to work. You all take care.